Welcome to SVR IAS Online Academy. Our website is commonindia.com. In today's current affairs video lecture, you will see some important topics. Today's date is 10th November 2015. Let's see the important current affairs topic that came in the news recently. First, we will see about Imprint India. Imprint stands for Impacting Research, Innovation and Technology. The second important prelims point is that it is a joint venture of IITs and IISC. IIT stands for Indian Institute of Technology and IISC stands for Indian Institute of Science. What is the major objective of this Imprint India initiative? This initiative seeks to develop a roadmap in order to solve the major engineering and technology challenges in 10 identified domains. In 10 identified domains. What are that domains? The domains are healthcare, computer science and ICT, advanced materials, water resources and river system, sustainable urban design, defense, nanotechnology, environmental science, climate change and energy security. Join our prelims and main target IAS 2016 online video lectures to get more updates and more explanation on Imprint India topic. Now let's move to the second topic that came in the news today. The next topic that we will see is minimum support price. Minimum support price is a form of agricultural market intervention taken by the central government to ensure that farmers or agricultural producers are protected against any sharp fall in farm prices. For example, when farmers produce say tomato in large quantities, in large quantities, then price falls higher. So farmers cannot get the money they invested. So farmers incur loss. To protect farmers against the loss, Government of India proposes minimum support price. The purpose is that if loss occurs, then next year farmers won't grow a particular item, say wheat or rice or sugarcane, etc. If Government of India gives assurance in the form of minimum support price, farmers will grow confidently. Under MSB, Government of India assures that even if price falls below MSB, Government will purchase the particular item, maybe wheat, etc. If the price is, market price is more than MSB, farmers will sell this particular item to the traders. There is no obligation on the farmers to sell to the government of India under MSP when market prices are high. But when market prices are lower than MSB, government of India must take the produce from the farmers and has to give the MSB. So it gives confidence to the farmers that in the form of minimum support price. Here one question emerges, who decides about minimum support price? is an important prelims point. It must be or decided by Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs on the basis of recommendations of one commission called as Commission for Agricultural Cost and Prices. Commission for Agricultural Cost and Prices. It is an important prelims point. Next topic you are going to see is Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana. Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana. It is a very important topic for mains 2015 as well as for 2016 examination. As you know, power distribution companies faces huge loss due to the various policy measures taken by state governments. As you know, power distribution comes under the 
state governments control. Power distribution companies are giving the free electricity to farmers in some states and they face as heavy transmission loss. So ultimately, power distribution companies all over the country have 3 to 4 lakh crore debt. 3 to 4 lakh crore debt. So, so they are in the bad financial state. How to restructure their debt? How to make the power distribution companies profitable? For this purpose, central government has launched a new yojana called as Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana. The scheme aims for financial turn around and revival of the power distribution companies in various states. And also it seeks for financial restructuring of the debt of the power distribution companies. The scheme allows power discoms in the selected states to convert their debt into the state bonds into state bonds as well as to take lot of measures to improve the efficiency of power plants. The Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana seeks to accelerate the process of reform across the entire power sector so that it can ensure the affordable and accessible 24 cross 7 power supply for all. Here two important problems point emerges so please careful about it. The scheme shifts 75 percentage of the power discounts debt into state's balance sheet. 75 percentage of the debt goes into state's balance sheet. What about remaining 25 percent? The remaining 20 percentage is some states, here not all states, the state power discounts which have worst financial crisis. As you know, Rajasthan's power distribution companies or discom has largest debt. They will be able to sell the remaining 25 percent as a state backed power bonds. State backed power bonds or loans which will carry the interest rates of government securities plus 50 basis points. It will give the interest rate of government securities plus 50 basis points. Thank you for watching our online current affairs video lecture and to get all the updates via WhatsApp, send WhatsApp message to our phone number 809-809-99 double two. If you have any queries regarding our online video lecture courses, send a WhatsApp or email us to upsc at the rate of commonindia.com. To get more free video lectures, visit our website commonindia.com. Thank you.